Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and the throwing style is still left-handed. I forgot again. I must remember next time. But we're here with another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle in Sun and Moon versus the viewers out there. My opponent is Bred Geezy, I think you pronounced that. I'm not sure, but we're going to go with the single battle, of course. I'm using the same team I've been using the uh, uh, Pokemon from my very first adventure in the world of Pokemon, my Kanto team. I'll show you momentarily. If you have, if you want to see like the full basic team update or team recap sort of a thing, check out the first of our viewer battles here on the channel, and I'm showing you more detail about Shelbert the Squirtle, Pikachu the Pikachu, Squeak the Raticate, Chirp the Pidgeot, Critter the Butterfree, and Rocky the Sand Slash. They are finally here in the Alola region. I can use them in Sun and Moon. And what battle music do we go with today? Apparently we're going with the basic battle music because I didn't think to change the music, so it is the basic trainer music. My bad. Let's see what bread is bringing to the table. Bread, table, kind of, you know, breakfast, whatever I'm trying to say. So we see Scizor, Feraligator, Incineroar, Gengar, Shuckle, and Gudra. Definitely some scary Pokemon on this side of the field. So, as far as starter Pokemon go, I think I could probably lead Rocky once again. The only thing that would scare him out would be the Feraligator, but I could switch into Shelbert, if need be. I guess we'll just start with Rocky again. If we can get the Stealth Rocks up, that'll be pretty good. I don't really think the Expert Belt is helping him out that much, because he's more just to set up the rocks. I should have chosen a different item for him. But anyway, let's see how this thing gets started here. Chaz versus the Breadster. All right. Lead Pokemon, of course, is a very important thing when you're going into your Wi-Fi battles. So, of course, there's other things they could have super effective against poor Rocky, but nothing that would be super effective. Or, sorry, I just said super effective. Nothing that would be stab other than water type from Feraligator. We see Douglas is the shiny Shuckle. All right. Now, this could have rapid spin, which is the thing, but... Just in case, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Stealth Rock anyway. This thing likes to set up things like uh, Sticky Web, from what I recall. Alright, so we have the Stealth Rocks up. It is going to go with the Toxic. Definitely not the best thing for us. We have no way to heal that off. We don't have Aromatherapy or... What's the other one? Heal Bell on this team. But we get a few turns before Rocky starts to go down pretty low from the Poison, of course. Let's go with... Would they switch out? They don't have anything immune to ground, so I could just go for a dig attack, but I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to knock off. This thing might have leftovers or something. Let's get rid of whatever item it's holding on to. There goes the leftovers. Okay. And infestation. I can't switch out now. Very clever. All right. Of course, if I gave rapid spin to Rocky, as opposed to Shelbert, who has it right now, I could just spin my way out of the infestation. So we're going to get some toxic damage and some infestation damage each turn here. I guess the only thing we can really do is go for a dig attack right now. I was thinking of going for Hone Claws, maybe, but it's not really going to help us that much. I want to try to get some damage off. We're going to avoid at least another hit right now as we go underground. They get their own Stealth Rocks up, which means Shelbert probably wants to come in next and spin those away. The downside is we would spin our own Rocks away. But I guess I don't want Stealth Rocks on my side to hurt Critter and Chirp, if I can help that. So... Definitely, I think Shelbert is the next best one to switch into. I'm pretty sure the poison and infestation is going to bring Rocky down. Minimal damage to Douglas over there as the sticky web comes in next. So they got the hazards up quite nicely on my side. That's what Shuckle is here for. That's what Shuckle does best. It takes the hits. Do we break out of the infestation? No, we don't, of course. But Shuckle is very good for setting up those hazards. So we see the stealth rock, sticky web. We see the Squirtle coming in next, of course, because we want to get rid of those things immediately. Plus, we can always Scald this thing, too. So, Toxic and Infestation are your two offensive moves. There's the Stealth Rock. Shelbert loses some speed. Oh, man, he's normally so fast, too. Let's just go ahead and spin away. Of course, Gengar is a thing, I just realized. If they switch into Gengar, Rapid Spin is going to do nothing. But they don't. All right. So away goes the Sticky Web, away goes the Stealth Rock. No damage to Douglas, but that is fine. So all goes... Do we knock it rid of theirs? It just said it disappeared from my side. Hmm. That's interesting. Alright, so they're probably going to go with a... I would say they go for Infestation now. I think what we're going to do is switch immediately, and we'll get Critter in here before they can get Infestation on Shelbert and keep him locked into place. Now that the Stealth Rocks are gone, Critter comes in with no damage. Plus, if they go for the Infestation, he's going to resist that. 
Sticky Web is back up now, though. Okay, so... It's not gonna affect our flying types, I'm pretty sure. Flying Pokémon are not affected by the Sticky Web on the ground. Let's go for Sleep Powder. Let's try to put this thing to sleep before it can do any more damage to our side. We do connect. Alright, not bad, Critter. Way to go. Hmm, do I go for... I don't know, do I want to go for the Z-Move right now to take this thing out? I don't want to waste it just yet. With Douglas asleep, we have a couple resistances to bug-type damage. Hmm. I'm going to risk the Electro Web right now. Like, we still have time to bring Shelbert in and go for another Rapid Spin if necessary. As they do switch out, I'm going for... Electro Web on the Red Ranger. Oh, nice. I was thinking that might have been the Incineroar, but nope. Okay, so hang on. Stealth Rock only gets rid of, or sorry, Rapid Spin only gets rid of Stealth Rock on my side. It must be Defog I'm thinking of that gets rid of it on uh, both sides. All right, so Electro Web is neutral damage. This thing could have Bullet Punch, so Tailwind's not really going to matter. I'm going to try Signal Beam. I know it's resisted, but we might get confusion on this. Mega Scizor! So we're seeing an opposing Mega. Of course, we do have Chirp to make use of. I might want to leave Critter in and let him fall and go for a Focus Sash counter combo on Red Ranger here. Do we get Confusion? We do not. We get Swords Dance. Uh-oh. Now we're going to fire off the Buginium Z. I think this is the time for it. Yeah, let's just get as much power out as we can. Put the Savage Spin out. And Bullet Punch. Will we survive this? Technician boosted? No, we don't. And it was a critical hit. Now, if it wasn't critical, we would have survived that, of course. <laughs> Probably not. Squeak, get in here, buddy. We know what's going on here. Counter Strike. Oh, no. The Sticky Web. We're losing our speed. Doesn't matter. Counter always goes last anyway. And we do have, of course, the Focus Sash. We'll survive this Bullet Punch nicely. Question is, are going to handle this counterattack? I have a feeling that you won't. Double damage being sent back at Mega Scizor. Down goes the Red Ranger. Alright, so that's their Mega out of the way. We haven't seen their Z attack just yet. We haven't seen ours either, because Critter's gone before his time. Alright, what comes in next? We get to see a Gengar? And Cena Roar. No Johns. Alright. Now, you might be faster. Now, the last time we fought in Cinderella, it was actually pretty slow. I'm just going to go with the double edge. And you know what? I could just go for the Endeavor. I'm going to go for Endeavor. That's the idea that we have it on Squeak for. Nope, they are faster. Okay, so the other one that we fought last time was just a tiny little bit on the slower side. So Squeak falls. This gives Incineroar the option to switch out. And then now... Bread has to send in a new Pokemon, which means I get the choice of which one to come in on my side. So I can choose something. Gatorade. Nice name. Ferala Gatorade. I like the names you have there, Bread Geezy. Alright, we're going to bring Pikachu in. Is he quick enough to outspeed Gatorade? I don't know. I'm sure he can get the knockout with... Well, I forgot about the sticky web. Oh, man. That being the case, I'm going to switch out into Shelbert. Try to get the Rapid Spin off. Probably going to see... We might see an Earthquake from this. But we have the Eviolite on Shelbert. There's a chance he can handle this. And Bread might be switching out too, though. Seeing that I have a Pikachu. But again, he probably has the speed advantage thanks to the Sticky Web, though. Yeah, he's staying in because he would have switched out first based on speed. What do we see from... For Alligator? Goes to the Waterfall. We handle that pretty decently. Now, of course, there's a chance we can flinch. But we got to try to get that Sticky Web out of here if Pikachu has any chance of outspeeding. Now, we're going to probably see the Gengar switch in, though. They know I have Rapid Spin. Which means I probably should have predicted that. Predicted their prediction. And... No, they're just going to Dragon Dance. Oh, that's not good either. That's going to get their speed above Pikachu regardless. Hmm... Which means I kind of need to get a Tailwind up. Sticky Web's gone at least, though. It's not looking good for the old Kanto team this time, folks. But we're giving it our best shot regardless. Let's just try to throw a Rock Tomb. We're not going to survive a Waterfall, unfortunately. Or even a Crunch. We can't take that. 
Now there's a slim chance when Pikachu comes in, a physical contact move might paralyze with static. So we're going to bring Pikachu in. It's all down to Pikachu and Chirp, and as I say, it's not looking particularly well. But we got some pretty good damage off on some of the Pokemon regardless anyway. We got one knockout and one Pokemon sleeping. So we're just going to go with the discharge. Super effective. We're probably about to see a waterfall knockout though. Yeah, no static either when we need it. Of course we don't get the static. Alright, it's all down to Chirp. We're going to go with Mega Evolution. Is it going to matter? Probably not. But I'm going to go with the Tailwind. Just to make sure we're going to outspeed everything on the opposing side. Although, would they have Aqua Jet? They probably have Aqua Jet. I'm just going to Mega Evolution and Hurricane. Of course, it all depends on if we can survive an Ice Fang. Why do I say Ice Fang? Because I'm kind of predicting that's likely what they're going to have. But, we'll never know until we find out for sure as we see Ice Punch. Never mind. I am totally wrong on that. And down we go. Ooh, Kanto was destroyed. But I want to say thanks to my opponent, Bread Geezy, for the battle. Unfortunately, folks, I couldn't get a win for you, but that is what it is. It was actually a pretty fun battle. I was glad to see a Mega Evolution on the other side. Plus, the uh, moveset that we saw with the... Not Spinner Rack. Why did I say Spinner Rack? It is Shuckle. The moveset we saw with Shuckle is actually pretty good. As I said, they're pretty good for like setting up hazards and such like that, so... It's not bad. Very good lead with the uh, Shuckle. So I want to say once again, thanks to my opponent, Bread Geezy, for the battle, and thanks to you folks for watching. If you enjoyed the battle, feel free to drop a like down below, and throw some comments giving some congratulations to Bread for the win, and I guess you can just congratulate me for getting one knockout. That was something, at least. Anyway, but that is going to wrap things up for today's episode. I want to say thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the outro for some links to some other videos that I have done, plus a link to subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed for more daily Pokemon content, such as these viewer Wi-Fi battles, which I'll be doing probably on like a every other weekly basis kind of a thing. So this coming weekend, I'm going to see if I can record some Pokemon TCG matches with you folks out there. Next weekend, I'll try to get back to doing some of our Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battles. Plus, of course, you can always check out some other videos I've done, such as Pokemon TCG, as I just said. We have a Pokemon Yellow randomized Nuzlocke going on the channel as well, and sometimes weekly, more often than not, bi-weekly Pokemon News update video thingies on Mondays. With all that, we are done. Thanks once again for watching, folks. Congra congratulations. I was going to say congratulations to you for watching. I mean, congratulations to Bread for the win, and Professor Chaz is signing off. I will catch you next time.